Is Hasbro leaving money on the table, possibly ignoring collector's demands? Let's get right into it. I've been collecting toys for over 30 years, been there when Real American Hero started, and obviously collecting Classified now, but I think Hasbro is ignoring a big part of the community right now and they need to do something about that. I've seen the business for a long time now and I understand how it works and I believe Hasbro is really ignoring some demand here and leaving money on the table and a big part of the G.I. Joe community is suffering because of it. Of course I'm referring to the idea that Hasbro does not sell their G.I. Joe classified stands or blast effects directly to the G.I. Joe community. I have to say, I don't really understand why they don't sell both the stands and the blast effects separately on their store. I feel like they would have a really good following with the community and be hot sellers. Now, I'm obviously not a toy designer, but I do think that the, both these items would be fairly cheap for Hasbro to design and have readily available on their store. So as a Jejo Classified Collector, you know the Jejo Retro line does include stands with their figures. However, for some reason, the mainline figures don't come with stands. This makes uh, collectors often either A, find third party sellers of these stands or even some 3D printer enthusiasts print their own stands because Hasbro simply does not provide an option for the collectors out there. So I do think this is an oversight by Hasbro and I think it's something they need to look into. Now, of course, talking about oversights, I think even one of the bigger oversights is that currently you can't buy blast effects either for either your Transformers or your G.I. Joe figures, which have been purposely designed to be able to fit these on their weapons. This is kind of ridiculous at this point. As of the filming of this video, you can only really find blast effects packed in with some of the deluxe figures in both Transformers and G.I. Joe, and I guess this is why they are able to charge a higher price because they include some of these. I can only assume this is part of a selling point to kind of justify those higher price points of those special deluxe figures. So when it comes down to it, I'm really surprised Hasbro hasn't caught on to this because we had stuff like this in the Real American Hero line, and you know what? Like, it seems like Hasbro just doesn't want people's money and is leaving this money on the table. I I, like you thought Hasbro was in the business of making money and apparently not so. Now, why do you think if Hasbro was to make stands and blast effects available independently of deluxe figures and sell them directly on their website, would you purchase them? Let us know in the comments below because I for one think that customers would support these and would buy them up. I think they would sell out and be fairly hot sellers if they kept the price reasonable. Of course, while we're on the topic of making Hasbro more money, why not G.I. Joe accessory packs, much like the ones we've seen in the Real American Hero line back in the day. Of course, the Valverse team behind Action Force has already started doing this, and from what we can tell, are fairly hot sellers. So it's time for Hasbro to step up and make these available to customers maybe include some obviously a variety of weapons include some blast effects and also some stands you could do it all in the three pack and you can include multicolored weapons and stands and blast effects have different sizes it would be a total hot seller because it would be an amazing addition to the classified line and bring back some of that nostalgia that the line is based on Let's hope somebody at Hasbro checks out this video and maybe if we can get a lot of momentum behind this video, someone at Hasbro will finally click in and make sure this happens. I'm talking right now. This is an easy promotion for somebody at Hasbro to push through and make it happen. The fans would be happy and definitely support this. Leave a like below and let us know your thoughts on this whole topic about what Hasbro is missing out on. Let us know if you want these things and what you would, would be your number one. Would it be the blast effects would it be the accessory packs or stands let us know which of those three is your top get or your top want from hasbro right now of course while you're here why not hit that subscribe button also check out some of these other videos right here thanks for watching